Good morning. And for those, I think we probably did give a, a, a happy new year, a successful save a new year greeting to all of you through the other meetings on Skype, but no harm to repeat that. And of course, our obeisances to you and to each other indeed. Vanchikalpatrubhya's child, Kripa Sindhubhya Eva child, Patitanam Pavanebhyo, Vaishnavebhyo, Namo Namaha. And as we speak, there is a calf in a car <laughs> on the way over from uh, somewhere like 500 kilometers away to the temple, our ashram in Tomsk. They drove 500 kilometers to collect one like special calf. And I can only say what will be, will be. They're bringing this to Tomsk and with lots of affection from the Tomsk devotees. So just send you that news because one, uh, ex okay, exactly five minutes ago, I got this little photograph and message that they're on their way. So just to let you know, that's our world news. <laughs> Maharaj, did you say calf or car? Calf, C-A-L-F. Calf, calf, baby calf. And, and if I download it, anyway, it's, it's a calf, it's a baby cow in a car looking quite puzzled, but um, you don't have to see it. <laughs> All right. Yes, sorry, you did, took me, took us away a little bit, very happily. So, kum kum didi. Jai Dev Chintamani. Oh, now we see Rupanuga Prabhu also. Jai Rupanuga Prabhu Dandavat. Can you hear us? Maybe he's, he's outside. And the other, Melissa. Melissa cannot connect. <laughs> is trying to connect to audio. When, when she has the audio, she will be able to, to okay. hear us and she will identify. Sometimes there's that extra click to do and they don't see where to do it. Sometimes I'm also uh, taken by surprise by that. All right, good. So we've come together and uh, we're just having a short back to back to basics today. And you all know why, because in uh, 41 minutes time, then uh, broadcasting from Chiang Mai will be uh, the main program from there of Srila Bhakti Sudhir Goswami Maharaj giving the morning class. And are we in Chiang Mai now? Oh, mentioning Chiang Mai. It's, it's Mayeshwari Devi Dasi in Chiang Mai. Okay, well done. Okay. And, <laughs> and everybody else is at Gora, Gora Natharashu. Hari Bol, Hari Bol. And by the way, they claim this is the world defeating cooking team. This is, this is Paramanand Prabhu's claim, but I can tell you, you have competition here in Italy. <laughs> You'll be amazed. There are four resident devotees, <laughs> and they're Don't really doubt about that, We for sure have competition with Italy. I'm sure they would, they would beat us handily. Oh, don't be so sure. You're certified by Goswami Maharaj and Paramananda Prabhu. And others, but they are expert prashadam honorers. They have uh, the taste and capacity. So, ah, oh, what a sweet photo. Look at that shirt and tie. Anyway, good to see you there in the kitchen. And no doubt you're preparing the feast, in fact, for today for Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur's uh, disappearance day. I don't know if you'll be able to hear us in a second, so I'm going to connect it to a speaker and it doesn't have a microphone. So okay, our anyway, good, good that you're with us. You've got us on the speaker in Chiang Mai. They are all, all often playing. We can hear Janada Marsh playing. We can hear different of our devotees. And today they've got us live. It's back to back to basics. And also, Carla, just to let you know that I have a list. You're on my wanted 
this for giving talks over the last couple of days, but you know it's not possible to get everybody. And I think we did hear from you maybe on the very first. I'm not sure, but you're on my list. And one of the devotees, if we didn't get the opportunity, but please know that you are there. And if we had another few minutes, we would have called in for you too, to, to speak. We had one or two who, uh, who we wanted to say also, Subhasini in Ireland. She's Gurudev's disciple. We, very, we wanted to hear from her. But, but an opportunity to hear more things on another time. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Carla, I think you should turn off your microphone now because we're getting your kitchen sounds coming. Okay. Jai Gurudev. Jai Guru Maharaj. All right. So indeed, Jai Om Vishnu Parshila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Shila Guru Dev Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnu Parshila Guru Maharaj Shila Bhakti Rakhok Shridha Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai and Jai Shri Rupa Rupa Guru Bhanga Ki Jai Vishwarini Shila Esi Bhakti Vrenta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai All the assembled devotees Ki Jai All the Chaitanya Saraswati Acharya Brinda Ki Jai Nitai Gauru Premanandi Hari Hari Vaughan all right, so I, I'll start today. First, any question? Any question or questions from anybody? Yes, Maharaj, yes. Shakira asked if we have to fast on the disappearance day. For me, is it still not there? For me, Saturday night. But for her, for you, is already the day. But uh, we checked on the calendar, and it doesn't say... Uh, have day fast and and Abhinav was Sundar and Kelly they they weren't sure either so can you please tell us if there is a fast okay sure in one word no okay <laughs> and in more than one word then uh, I can mention I know it is on the ISKCON calendar probably I don't I mean we no I checked already. hours yeah I know I think on the ISKCON calendar it does say fast However, we are under the shelter of Srila Gurudev and Srila Guru Maharaj. I mean, and Srila Prabhupada, no doubt. And um, we also don't even know whether, you know, some of the things that come onto the ISKCON calendar, they may not have come from Srila Prabhupada. And we know this like, from the first hand of Goswami Maharaj and Janardhan Maharaj and others who were there. So we don't exactly know how it has come there. But on our calendar, uh, it, there is no mention of it because you know, directly we've got the guidance of Guru Maharaj and Gurudev. And I can tell you from Gurudev's heart, he has told us <laughs> that for the Vaishnava appearance day and disappearance day, including that of our Guru Varga, we are not fasting in the morning. And even he said one day we were, we were there for Bhaktivinoda you know, Tacos, maybe it was his appearance day, but Gurudev clearly has said this about appearance and disappearance. But Gurudev said, Bhaktivinoda Thakur will be unhappy with you if you fast. <laughs> the Vaishnavas, they don't want to cause any inconvenience to the other Vaishnavas, as it were. And uh, we also noticed that Gurudev disappeared. The, the, I mean, we don't really want to mention a disappearance at all, but he disappeared the day after Ekadashi. And, you know, when we looked back within a, you know within a few hours actually of him disappearing we thought oh this is gurudev also he is waiting not for a kardashi but for the day after the kardashi so the devotees they won't be you know, fasting on that day and the devotees will be able to feast on that day too so anyhow for it's good it's very clear i'm just letting you know from srila gurudev that on the uh, vaishnavas including the direct most exalted Vaishnavas, if you like, I'm a Guru Vaga. We don't fast on Ekadashi. Oh, sorry, we do fast on Ekadashi. We do not fast on their disappearance and appearance days. But breakfast in the breakfast in the temple was usually muri. Muri is the puffed rice and Hmm, I'm not sure if I've ever had like good muri anywhere else in the world. Sometimes in the Indian shops you can get muri, but it is not like muri in Bengal. 
And then you may think, why did Gurudev like Muri? How is it we had Muri every day? But the Bengal Muri is made freshly and uh, different villages, and I don't know how or why, but they have different tastes of Muri. And in fact, you know, Gurudev was a connoisseur of prashadam. When we say just now about the team, the kitchen team in Chiang Mai, you know, Goswami Maharaj is a connoisseur, Janar Maharaj is a connoisseur. Various devotees, you know, they really know, they know their prashadam. But um, we have to say that Gurudev is like the connoisseur of connoisseurs of prashadam. And he, we would arrange Muri from a particular village. And it's not maybe, hey, well, you can say halfway between Nabadeep and Hapanya, Guru, Guru, Guru Maharaj's appearance day. And we would arrange prashadam and sometimes uh, arrange Muri and sometimes go there now, specifically to get that Muri, especially just before Gurudev would go on a world tour. Because when he would go on a world tour, then his associates would take like a big, big bag of Muri. Much to the surprise of the customs officers and people who open up Gurudev's suitcase. <laughs> What's this? It's Muri, it's my breakfast. <laughs> Anyhow, so breakfast would be light and lunch is the main meal and everybody gets up early in the morning in Nabadeep. And so after lunch, it, it is not for long rest, but a little rest after lunch. And then by before 2.30, everybody's again back doing duty. And then the evening prasad is light. In Nabadeep, chapati, chapati and sabji, bus. Chapati and watery sabji. Hare Krishna. It was without colors. They try to, to serve everything just like a white in Navadi. Not too many, not too many colors. And the potatoes and the peanuts, and that's it. It's something very simple. Not too many colors or not too many flavors? Colors, colors. They then then use the dark colors, very light colors. I never, in 40 years, I never <laughs> thought about that. Or in the mat, almost 30 years, I never thought about that once. The color of the prasadam. Not sure about the color, but the, uh, the uh, spicing, yes, you no, can say. No tomatoes, it's not red, for example. Ah, uh, the color red. No, no dark color. On a karishi, the only thing I know about, okay, talking about color is the color red. So radishes and beetroot and tomatoes. Not, in. not in an, in Navadip. I didn't see it in Navadip. Very I'm light. saying I'm, I am confirming that the red, oh, red okay. color things, and were not uh, included. But actually, in Navadip, you'll have seen, I mean, I'm thinking of colors now. The only thing I can think about is color is red. In Navadip, it, it was the standard set by Guru Maharaj, and the standard that Srila Gurudev followed was that of roots, fruits, milk products, and water. So then there was no cabbages or lettuce or salad or tomato anyway, even whether it was a pink, pink, green, fluorescent or any other color. It was, if it didn't fit into the roots, fruits and milk products, then it didn't make it into the offering. Um, and included in the roots is no carrot and no radish. They have this, the fruit called a mula and uh, I, I don't know what the name is in any other language, but it is, they say, when they translate it to English, they say radish, but it's not what I know as a radish. A radish grows, what I know as a radish, it grows underground, it's usually quite small, and if you bite it, it's got a bit of a sting to it. Okay. But they have a, a vegetable that grows under the ground, and it's called mula, which is can be very long and it looks more or less like a, a carrot 
but fat all the way down rather than tapering, a carrot tapers. And it's white, but they also don't cook that on ikarashi. And they, why, I asked why once, not to Gurudev, but to somebody, like why? We know about red, we know about the other things, but why not that? And they said, because it's related to the carrot, which is red. <laughs> so there we are. That's the best answer I got. It wasn't from Gurudev. And, you know, as far as the whys go, then I wasn't too much of a why person because I wanted to give relief to, those, to, to Gurudev in particular. So I really, I accepted. I mean, I just happily accepted like lots of things and only occasionally when something was like scratching in my brain, I said, Gurudev, why this? <laughs> He would be very patient and answer, but but the opposite. I tried to not ask the why questions, just so that when we're with him, we're just there. You know, how how can we help? Do anything? And we'd go there every morning. And many many of the devotees actually their their experience. You heard over the last few days how devotees they have this memory of Gurudev's veranda being very full and people coming through lots of devotees there and that will be the memory for most devotees because the veranda you know, was quite a, a hectic place but during the festival times and for most of the year then actually Gurudev's veranda was just intimate and sweet with whoever were his uh, servitors the local and services and as well as what whoever may have arrived uh, who's maybe there for a short time or for a longer time but before Mongolati then Gurudev actually did not want devotees going to him it was a his time for doing his various duties and preparing for the day and there would be myself and him and the, the, what Gurudev would say is coca, but we actually won't say coca really, but he would say, oh, coca and cookie. He would call Jamuna Priya, cookie, cookie, Jamuna Priya was personally serving him for quite, quite the last few years, you can say. And by the way, I invited her yesterday, I mean, I invited her, but I invited her again for yesterday to please come and talk. I said, devotees, I'd love to hear from you. But she says, I don't do Zoom. <laughs> so, somehow, some people, they don't like, they, some people, they just won't go on Facebook. Some won't do this. Some, so somehow or another, she's got something about Zoom that she's heard. And about Zoom, by the way, Praneshwari, then Chiang Mai did work out how to stop the chat. Now, just in case we get anything. Yes. Up. Yes, I figure it out as well, just to be prepared. Yeah, there's not a way to delete it apparently when it's already posted, but the, to, then but it can be stopped. And anyway, uh, you've got a nice posting there which says to avoid the dark web, please use your devotional names. This is very sensible for us. And after they stopped the chat and asked the devotees to use their devotional names and from Chiang Mai things became smoother. All right. Maharaj, one uh, experience I had yesterday, which helped too, so many people trying to come in and we didn't always know their, if, the, if it was a devotee or some nefarious person. But one lady came showing her picture and I could tell by her face that it was too nice a smile. I didn't recognize her and it was too small for me to see if she had on tilak, but that also helped for me to decide to admit her because I could see her face. Okay, okay. It was not a devotional name, but yeah. seeing her face, I decided. I'm thinking about what you're saying and I can say, <laughs> I'm a, I mean, I've seen so many kinds of devotee faces. <laughs> I would be very, <laughs> cautious about my own judgment in such a case, but yes, I understand. Yeah. And actually, I think those ones that came in, they were Russian and some Russian side because we saw some, you know, like the identity in, I think every case was Russian. Anyway, 
this is just some precautions yeah Let's and come to... I, I would like I would like the person connected with the phone ending in 910591 please open your mic and let us know who you are Yes, please join us. Hare Krishna. Okay. Hare Krishna. Dhanavar. Uh, That's Jai Dev. Jai Dev. That's Jai Dev. You can hear? Perfect. Yes, it thank you. Me, it took me several times. I'm so grateful. Yes, okay, Jai Dev. So we know it's you. Yeah, Jai. But a little, a little broken up. You're probably out in the, in the desert somewhere, knowing you doing some adventure in the desert. All right. And Kum Kum Didi, you are with us. And actually, it is always so good to have your association because we remember your family, but we remember Srila Prabhupada, Guru Maharaj, and Guru Dev. But just by seeing your face. And I can, I can ask you today, Kum Kum Didi, we just have a few minutes, but what if somebody will ask you, like myself, but if anybody will ask you, any devotee will say, like, what is the most important thing as the foundation of our life? So every day I can be firm and clear. Please, from your experience with our masters, just share a few words with us, because I know you're able to, if we can be a good calf to draw this from you, your good self. Uh, that's extremely kind of you, Maharaj. Um, and perhaps this answer would change day to day, but um, with all the wonderful uh, classes that we've been having the last couple of days in which we will have tomorrow, I. I'm thinking that the answer is the plurality of gurus. As Srila Prabhupada expressed, guru is one, but he appears in an infinity of forms to save you, me, and all others. So um, when we first met Srila Prabhupada, um, we were much like the child who only understands there's, there's mother means one woman. That's all. And we may become confused later when we hear other children saying mother about a different woman. So the same thing, we may at first, this person who appeared out of nowhere, but somehow or other saved the Western world, um, that is guru. And anyone else is, we, we don't understand exactly who they are. But then after hearing so beautifully from first Srila uh, Bhaktivakak Sridhar Maharaj. Then it maybe first we went to learn more about Srila Prabhupada and his teachings, but then hearing from Guru Maharaj, it began to resonate with us. This is the same. This is, it's like Srila Prabhupada had not left. So it was very, very joyful. And then later, we experienced the exact same thing, hearing from Srila Bhakti Sundar Gov Govinda Maharaj um, that it, he's not just the greatest servitor we could ever hope to meet. This also means that he is non-different. He is guru. And so that great fortune that our our teachers have us in their their plan. They they have our success as as their dedicated plan. They have no other alternative uh, plan except that we succeed, and this is how they do it. That they're always present with us, and they're all thinking that they are needing to serve their guru. And the best way they can serve their guru is by helping us. It appears that that is their, their primary motivation in, in being the servant of their guru because their gurus want nothing more. And therefore they're going as far as we need. They will always be trying to assist us in every way. And tomorrow being the grand disappearance of, of his divine grace, Srila Saraswati Thakur, we can get some understanding of who it is that they are representing 
who they're talking about and where they have gotten their um, qualification from. It's, it's not a changing thing. It's not a theory. It's um, absolute truth. It just keeps appearing in this, the very, very same truth, but appearing in different forms according to this time and this circumstance. But in Takra Bhakti, if you know, when you read his, his teachings also, who, who is he preaching to? At, at the time that he was preaching, uh, what was going on in India, the British were there and he still convinced so many people. So that was how he spoke. And then it's been adapted and adapted, but it's the very same message. It's all simply our spiritual medicine that we require. Jai Kum Kum Diri, beautiful. Mm -hmm. And uh, Srila Prabhupada himself gave this article, which is in Sri Guru and His Grace at the front, that preface. I just pulled it up. Yes. So Srila Prabhupada, and the year of this was a long, uh, a, right. a year of, uh, the year of this, I know it was a long time ago. Right. When he gave this article, which is entitled, oh, it's entitled Preface in this version. Yeah. The one that's the address to the members of the Gaudi Amat. That's was, right. Yes. It was captured in the Harmonist, I think in 1937, something long right. ago. I think 1936 was in my mind, but in the 1930s, I believe. But mm -hmm. this is by Srila Prabhupada himself mm -hmm. and explaining, to, uh, explaining about what is the Guru principle and on this note, we can also say from Guru Maharaj that Srila Guru Maharaj, he told that to understand Guru Tattva and to understand Dham Tattva and to understand Shiva Tattva, those three things, and he may have said more, but I've been there when he's been saying, well, Guru Tattva, Dham Tattva and Shiva Tattva, to understand these three is very difficult and maybe ununderstandable by us in that Achinti department. Mm -hmm. But that article in, that, in the front of Sri Gurun's Grace is certainly worth always reading and rereading to help us to try to uh, understand the grace of Krishna coming through Guru. And that is not limited, it is unlimited. Beautiful. And just one more point while you were talking, I was also reflecting on how Guru Maharaj told how Govinda Maharaj, Srila Govinda Maharaj, that it was as though Srila Govinda Maharaj has had the association of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur more, more so than most of my god brothers who had his, even those who had his extensive association. In other words, Guru Maharaj giving that uh, certificate, if you like, but giving that honor to Srila Govinda Maharaj that he's captured Srila Saraswati Thakur's conception. He's firm in that conception. Yes. So although he's the younger, of course, he's the younger generation, Shila, Guru Maharaj and Srila Prabhupada were his, um, his gurus, his seniors, but he is so em uh, embedded there as the representative of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur. I mean, through Srila Guru Maharaj and through Srila Prabhupada. He learned Bhagavad Gita from Srila Prabhupada. Not all, but when Guru Maharaj was not in Calcutta, he, he learned Bhagavad Gita by Guru Maharaj's instruction from Srila Prabhupada. And, and Guru Dev gives all credit there. I mean, he, oh, Guru Dev is the perfect <laughs> Vaishnava to see Vaishnava etiquette. Mm -hmm. Yes, and I see a hand from Praneshwari Devi Dasi. Maharaj, I already sent it uh, to you, but uh, I want to say Kum Kum Didi. She gave a wonderful class today to the kids, and the name is The Greatest Teacher. And she ah. spoke about Guru, and she received questions. And it was a beautiful class, I want to say that. Every class has been beautiful. So now we can also think of 
Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, when he's asked about the prasadam on, the, on some feast day, and so which prasad do you, is, do you prefer? Which one is best? And Srila Sarasati Thakur was saying, oh, this one is better than this, is better than this. Each are better than each other, this way. So anyway, Kumkum Didi, I've heard all the classes that I've been that I've been given, which I think is most of them. I've heard all of the classes of the children's classes, and uh, I look forward to hearing your class too. I'm also a child in Krishna consciousness. <laughs> well, it was very kind of Praneshwari to uh, ask me to speak, and she does this every week. She's taking care of the children, various ages, that doesn't matter. But it's a it's a quite a, a big program actually, and she's uh, doing this appearing in the background. But she's actually making this very important thing happen all the time, and it was her suggestion, being the day after Gurudev's uh, Vyas Puja, that perhaps something like that would be a, a good topic, and it it made it quite easy to to uh, try to show some appreciation and for the little children. If you hear that class, you'll be amazed at the, what the children say, especially uh, there's very one very loquacious little boy who's Balaram. his name is Balaram and he says so many things. But in the beginning, the granddaughter of Nyasi Maharaj and Sri Lekadidi, who's the daughter of Jai Shri mm -hmm. and Shamsun. I could not believe her question. I kept looking at her like, you're actually 35 years old, right? But it was about free will. And why does it sometimes appear that we have free will and sometimes it doesn't, do we or don't we? And so it, they're little sages in little bodies. Yes, I was amazed. I say, these are demigods. I mean, yeah. <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Jewels. We have jewels in the mission and we have to take care of those jewels. Jai. And we're very happy, by the way, Paneshri Didi, to hear the other day from Maha Mantra Prabhu. He's always, he's always in the background. Maha Mantra is Paneshwari's son. And uh, he's always st stays in the background. But really, he's a good friend and co-servitor. We shared a little off, very, very small office together. <laughs> and uh, very sincere soul. So we were happy to hear from him. And by the way, Praneshri Didi also, you were right there and we also wanted, if we had more time, we would have heard from you, Praneshri Didi. I'm, I was very aware and we're trying to get opportunity and give encouragement from all quarters. So uh, we need more days of the festival. And actually you see in, in Nabadi, okay, so we had the Adivas, we had the festival day, then we had Bamun Para, and then today, I mean, on this side of the world today, or Nabadeep, you can say today, is uh, Guru, Ma is um, Srila Sarasati Thakur's disappearance. So we are having a four-day festival, but you can also feel and understand that actually the devotees will be gathering together from a week before, you can say, a week before the festival comes and devotees will be coming from Calcutta and different places where they've been doing their service, coming to Navadip to help prepare in many ways. And so every day there'll be some sort of guru-centered um, discussions and talks and our daily programs on the Samadhi Mandir, organized by, organized by Gurudev. And Gurudev would come himself at 9 a.m. every day. Not that, sorry, not that he would come 9 a.m. every day. He would come sometimes, but he established at nine o'clock every day on the Samadhi Mandi. We had a program in English and sometimes in Spanish, sometimes in Russian, sometimes in Chinese, depending on like who were the majority of the Western devotees there. But throughout the whole week and throughout more days, we'd be having a sort of guru centric classes going on and sharing. And it was a very, very like extended festival time this time of Yasta Puja and Sarasati Thakur's uh, Disappearance Day. And can I just quickly look on the calendar? I always, I seem to remember something about Govinda Kund on this day. Though that may be, actually, hmm, 
It was Srila Sarasati Tagore's appearance day coincides with some leelas at Govinda Kund, if I'm not wrong. Hare Krishna. And, oh yes, by the way, interestingly enough, you know, Gurudev composed a verse before taking prashadam, and this was in uh, Soquel in California, one year when he was there. It's 30th of December, 2004, as the feast for Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur Prabhupada's Tirubhava arrived, his divine grace, Srila Govinda Marsh, spontane spontaneously composed this shloka in Srila Sarasati Thakur's honor. And it's just two, I mean, it's two lines. Bhagavan Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Jagat Guru Achudara Param Bhoja Dhuli Syam Janma Janmani. Birth after birth, I wish to become the dust of the supremely merciful lotus feet of Jagat Guru Bhagavan Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. How beautiful, short, sweet, and just he composed just before taking prasadam. And about composing, we just have a couple of minutes left. About composing uh, slokas, <laughs> Guru, <laughs> three minutes left, <laughs> two and a half. <laughs> okay, I'll speak. I'll speak quickly <laughs> about composing slokas. Gurudev, he also told about uh, uh, how he and Guru Maharaj used to play this game. And he said, on hot summer days at four in the afternoon, I'd go to Guru Maharaj the, and it'd be very hot. Someone would be fanning him. And there Guru Maharaj said, are you ready to play? And Guru Maharaj said, yes, I'm ready. To, I'm always ready to play. And then Guru Maharaj will say a sloka and the last two um, syllables or whatever it is, you know, they, Namaha or whatever it is at the end of the shloka, then the next, then the next person, it means Gurudev, then he'll start the next sloka with that Namaha, something, something, something. And Gurudev saying how this would go on for two hours. And Guru Maharaj cannot defeat me. I cannot defeat Guru Maharaj. And he's giving uh, this kind of expression. And then I, I remember a devotee asked to Gurudev about, and if you, uh, can you make a sloka on the spot if you can't find another sloka? And Guru Maharaj said, yes, we can do that. But generally picking up other slokas from, you know, that, that, that are established in the scripture. So just a little reminder. And then you see Gurudev composed this sloka for Srila Sarasati Thakur just before taking prasadam. <laughs> All right. So Kumkum David has given us a theme for today, which really is this... Uh, unity in the diversity of Guru, that Guru is not in one place. And you know, I am also going to read Srila Prabhupada's um, introduction preface to Sri Guru and His Grace. I want to reread that because it's always like above my head, if you like, which I mean, many things are above my head, but it's always one of those like special things. And from the 1930s, Srila Prabhupada giving this. Hare Krishna. Okay, good devotees. Um, please do join the Zoom. Maybe Praneshri can just slip into the chat box for Rupanuga Prabhu in case you don't have it. I think the others will have. Uh, maybe Chintamani, I don't think. I'm not sure. Please excuse if you were there. I don't remember seeing you in the Zoom uh, the last couple of days from uh, Chiang Mai. But uh, just in 15 minutes time, then from there will be the main festival in Chiang Mai in uh, honor of Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur's disappearance. Oh, you need a phone number. I don't have a phone number either, Praneshwari. Oh, Chintamani Devirasi, I don't have a phone number. Yes, I, uh, Chintamani, I don't have a phone number either. I only have the... the um... No, we only, we only have the meeting ID and the mm. passcode. We don't have the full invitation from Zoom. Right. Uh, okay. If I can, I'll get in time. I'm not sure, but I have to.
I get it from Thailand. I'm not the host. They're hosting it from there. All right. And to Abhinava Sundar, Kelly, hiding from us today. To Jai Devu, hiding from us today. To Chintamani, who's not hiding from us today. Oh, look. Also, look, this is drawn. Abhinava Sundar and Kelly Kadambarana. They're doing some, oh, they're packing. They're in the kitchen and they're packing for their prashadam distribution. Oh, which... we're working, Maharaj. Oh, you're working. Yes. For no rest for the weekend. Packing herbs. Packing herbs for Krishna's service ultimately. And you're serving the servant. Here's Rupa Nuga Prabhu. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you see, they're working hard, Rupa Nuga Prabhu. Give them extra points. <laughs> They might be taking triple time. <laughs> uh, maybe they are. And Chinta. He, he, he pays us in advance. He, he gives us our extra money in advance. Okay. Uh, good. <laughs> and it's, if you in connect love. everything in with love. Krishna, then it's all going in the right direction. And the beautiful fire at Chintamani's place there. Out, outside fire. Look at that. All right. I need to go, dear devotees. We'll hopefully see you soon. And Chintamani Didi, if I can get a phone a number, maybe Praneshri, can you ask? You have the number? Oh no, I'll, I'll ask to to uh, to uh, Thailand. We'll try to get a phone okay. number for you to come in on. And if I write down your phone number, 180, then they'll know who's coming in because otherwise. And I'll let them know. I'll note that number of uh, Jayadev Prabhu. So I'll tell them to let that number in when they see. But I. She's giving you. She's giving you her number, Maharaj. Please write down this one. Okay, and I know I have to write it down. Otherwise, plus one, plus one, two, two, four, five, five, eight, 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 six, eight. Okay. Okay, Chintamani, Jaide Prabhu, Rupanuga Prabhu, the team in the team in the kitchen in Chiang Mai. <laughs> and Kun Kun Das is giving us darshan. Whoa. And to Shakira, Shakira, we'll try to touch base later today. Is today a good day for you? It's Sunday to talk. Shakira? Oh, we can. Every day is a good day. I am traveling back to Johannesburg today, but I can always check my message whenever, but yes. Okay, when, after how long do you travel back to Johannesburg? Oh, you've frozen. Uh, she will be aware, she will be reading your messages, Maharaj. Yeah. She's very interested. Okay, okay. All right, very good. Praneshri Didi, Kum Kum Didi, Abhinava Kelly, or Rupanuga Prabhu, Dandavat Pranam, Vanchakal Patru Vistra, Kripa Sindhubiya, Evacha, Patitanam, Pavanebio, Vaishnavebio, Namo, Namaha. So, Shilabhati Ranjama, Rasvina Maharaj, Kija. No disturbances, Abhinava Sunda Prabhu. Get on with your packing of herbs. Dandavat to you all. Jai Shil Guru Dev Ki, Jai Shil Guru Marsh Ki, Jai. And Jai Shil Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Tako and his disappearance day today. Ki Jai Nitai Gaur Premanandi Hari Hari Bo. Dandavat all good devotees.